Let me introduce you to the splash lubrication in engines. But first, why should you care? Imagine Ferrari is on a discount. The only flaw is that they are not lubricated. Not a big deal, right? You decide to take a joyride in your new 430. However, soon you notice something very wrong. You reach for the brake, and guess what? It didn't work. Boom! That's what will happen if there is no lubrication. And splash lubrication is the oldest lubrication in engines that run at very high speeds. So what is splash lubrication? I believe you all had fun pedaling through puddles when riding a bicycle. Have you noticed how water flies from the front wheel afterwards? Since there are also wheels inside engines, engineers thought it may be easier to just fling the engine oil with those wheels, and that is the earliest version of splash lubrication. Rods and discs are used later on, flinging oil at different angles and different positions. Lubricating engines with tiny bits of metal sounds sketchy, but remember, it rotates at hundreds of rounds per second, enough to drill through oak planks like cutting butter. Over the decades, splash lubrication had cleared the path for the application of high-speed engines, which in turn powered the majority of industry electricity needs in the first half of the 20th century. Even now, splash lubrication is still applied in most of the small generators for its low price and simplicity. For a 100-year-old technology, that is definitely a great achievement. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed yourself.